Welcome to our channel. Today's video is about how to test the resistance of the spark plug wires using an ohmmeter. This is a very simple test, but it's very important. Reason being is the current travels from your distributor cap or your coil pack, depending on your vehicle, through the spark plug wire to your spark plug. And if at any given time any of the spark plug wires develops too much resistance or an open, then the current is not going to travel and the spark plug is not going to ignite the mixture. This is going to cause a misfire and your vehicle is not going to run the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to show you how to do this simple test. That way if you ever have a misfire in your vehicle and you're having a hard time troubleshooting where it's coming from and you're suspecting that it could be a spark plug wire, you'll know how to test them. So I'm going to get this camera up close so you can see this better. Let's get started. So now that we have the camera up close, we're going to proceed with the test. We're going to set our meter to the tens of thousands on the ohm setting because we're testing resistance. And the rule of thumb or guideline when it comes to measuring the resistance of the spark plug wires, for every foot there's going to be about 4,000 ohms of resistance. So now we're going to measure these wires. Let's see, this one is a little over a foot and a half. So if for every foot we're talking 4,000 ohms, so it should be somewhere around the 6,000 give and take. So let's take a look. So it's about 4,200 right here in our meter. Remember, I have it on the tens of thousands, so that's why it shows 4.18. So this one is within specs. Now let's try a longer one. So we're going to measure this long one right here. It is 3 feet long. So 3 feet times 4,000. That should be 12,000 maximum of resistance. So let's take a look. Put our lead there. Lead right here, and we're about 8300 ohms. I'm going to bring the meter closer so you can see it. Dropped a little bit, so it's within specs. So, as you can see, it's very, very simple to test the resistance. Another thing too, make sure that it's not open. That when you're measuring the resistance, I'm going to show you what it would look like if it was open. So, this shows resistance. However, how it would look like if it was open, I'm just going to set this in a 200. So your meter wouldn't register any resistance if you had a wire that was either burned, let's say you have headers and you know burned a section of it, or let's say the core inside the wire just split and there was a gap that you couldn't see because of the insulation, same thing, it would show that it was open. I just put the wrong setting on the meter so you could see what it would look like if it was open. But remember, make sure that you set it into thousands or tens of thousands, most accurate. That way you can get the right reading. So those are the two main things that you're looking for when you're testing your wires. 4,000 ohms resistance maximum per foot and make sure that it's not open. And there you have it. Now you know how to test the resistance of your spark plug wires using an ohm meter. Thank you for watching today's video. See you next time.